family of Miss Marlene? Yes, miss, it's us. How is my daughter? Everything's great. Congratulations, it's a girl. Hey, oh. hey, what? What do you mean by a girl? You're joking, right? Because my grandkid is a boy. A boy! No, sir, I'm not joking. That's a girl. You can come and see her, I already notified. Excuse me. Hey, look, you third-rate nurse. You won't go anywhere until you tell me that my grandchild is a boy. A boy, you understood? Let me go. What's wrong with you? If you don't tame this savage, I'll call security to take him away. No, miss. Everything's fine. Excuse me. Marco, please calm down. If not, they'll call the police and oh, you... you shut up. Don't tell me what to do. And you, you're so useless. You told me that my grandchild was a boy, and not us. Nikki, a little girl. If I had known this, I would have paid for her abortion. Well, that's enough. I won't allow you to talk like that about my daughter. You should be happy. It's your first grandchild. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy. You know what? I won't leave a useless woman all my inheritance. I won't give it to her. And you, you should have been a better man. Give me a grandson. Marco! Marco! I never thought he would get like this. Me what a shame. I, th I think it's better if we don't tell Marlene anything about this. No, we can't say anything. Let's go see her. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's got the eyes of your dad. Yes, <gasps> she's got his eyes. By the way, do you think he's done with the tantrum? I don't know, it's been days since... Hello, sir. I'm glad you came. Do you want to meet your grandkid? What are you doing here? Get out. Get out. Marco, please. Your daughter is here to make amends, and so you could meet your grandkid. Don't be rude. Rude? No. No, she's the rude one. She didn't give me a grandson. Huh? Besides, the thing's really ugly. I won't allow you to speak like that to my daughter. I won't allow you to offend my daughter or my wife. It's a warning, sir. Who? Oh, you shut up! Huh? Because you gave me a girl as a grandkid! Shut up! And get out! And I'll tell you something. I don't want to see you ever again in my get life. Me, get out! Let's go. Leave don't already worry, now! Don't worry, Dad. You won't see us again! Yeah, all right. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. <sighs> you need to stop crying. It's always the same with you. Marco! <laughs> Look at you! What a life you have! Just lying there with the cell phone stick to your ear! Come on, get up! Get up! And hit the food because I'm hungry! Marco! Look at this! I'm watching your granddaughter! Look, your daughter and the one she said is my grandkid don't exist to me! I told you that! Stop crying! Don't serve me food! Well, it's enough! Stop this! I can't stand this anymore! You pushed me away all this time from my grandkid! And you denied me the possibility of seeing my grandkid who's now 18 years! I couldn't see her growing, but enough! This is over! Look, Patricia, you better not scream at me because I'm not deaf! Besides, I'm the one paying for your food and I support you! You're so useless, you never gave me a boy as a son! And that's what I wanted to have in my life! You took it from me! And I'm frustrated! Enough! This useless, this good for nothing, will leave this house! <laughs> She's tired! And now she go to find her daughter and grandkid! But on top of everything, I will find myself again! You... are not going anywhere, huh? And if you leave, you won't take anything. Remember, Patricia, the fleet that takes that I took you, remember? Marco. Marco, are you okay? Marco. Hi, Mommy, how are you? Darling. I'm glad you could answer. I was about to call you to set up visit behind Dad Matt's back. Please, darling. Don't call him like that. He's your dad. I'm at the hospital. What? Are you okay? Your dad is very delicate. 
He needs so negative blood. Urgently. I need you here. And I know that my grandkid has that type of blood. She could save his life. I'm sorry. I won't allow him to humiliate my daughter. Don't be resentful. Understand your father. He's like this because because he was raised like that. That's how your grandpa was. No, mom. I'm sorry, bud. No. No, no, no. I won't expose my daughter to that. No, I better not go. Bye. Darling. <laughs> yes, sir. <sure. laughs> what happened, honey? Why are you crying? Something happened to Grandma? No, darling. Your grandma is fine. He's your grandpa, the one who's very delicate. Well, come on, let's go see him. Sweetie, sweetie, come. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to go with your grandpa. When are you going to tell me what happened with him? Why does he never come to visit us? Why do you always say excuses when I want to see him? Your grandpa is... What, mom? Darling, you are our biggest treasure. For your dad and for me. But for your grandpa, nor you or me are. Because we're women. Darling, your grandpa always wanted a boy. When he knew that your mother was pregnant, she had to lie saying, you'll be a boy. Just so he could leave her alone. When he met you, he despised you for being a girl. But now, you're the only person who could save him. Because you have the symbol of time. Well then let's go with him. You have taught me to do good and not to look to who. But darling, your grandpa hurted your mother so much. He deserves a punishment. Also, he doesn't deserve your help. Dad, he's a person who might die. Let's go. Come on, Mom. Yes, come on. How is my dad? He is not good at all. He is very weak. And we still haven't found our daughter. Don't worry, Grandma. You found her. I'm willing to donate my blood. Are you serious, <laughs> my love? Thank you so much. But your grandma My parents never... have already told me everything. And I'll still do it. He's my family. Oh, my darling. You are so nice. I wish my father was as novel as my daughter. <laughs> You'll see that when he wakes up, he'll change his mind. Even more when he realizes his granddaughter saved his life. I don't want my grandpa to know who is the donor. I want it to be a surprise. Yes, honey. It would be as you want to. Thank you. So beautiful. Darling, let's go get you prepared. <laughs> Come, mommy, let's go get a coffee. You need it. All right. Marco, have some water. Uh, yeah, thank you, thanks. Uh, thank you so much. But... Patricia, I want to apologize to you. I've been a terrible husband. So bad. But this close to death experience made me see that I was a selfish idiot. Oh, I don't want to be like my father. I don't like it. I don't. I don't. The only thing I want is to mend things up with my daughter. That's the only thing. Calm down. Easy, Marco. Everything will be alright. I forgive you. 
the only thing I want is that you're okay, that you get better. Although, my decision has been made. I want a divorce. I understand it. I get it. But I just want to see my daughter. That's my only wish. You still have time with her. No. No, I don't think so because when I got out of the hospital, I tried to call her. But she never picked up. Marco, remember that. I told you that I didn't get to meet your daughter. I lied. I know who, who it was. Who? They are about to arrive. They are here. Come on in. Welcome, darling. Darling, you don't know how happy I am to see you. And she... She was your blood donor, and she's your grandchild. <laughs> Grandpa, you have no idea how happy I am to see you better, and that you could reconsider. her. You're so pretty. And she's so big now. I want... First of all... Thank you for saving... Saving my life. And second... To tell you... That you have such a big heart. So big that really... It taught me a lesson. You have nothing to thank. My parents and grandma has taught me to do good. Darling. I want... I want to apologize to you. Forgive me for treating you like that. But I want to mend things up. I want you to forgive me. I never thought that I'd hear that from you, Dad. I forgive you. But I need time. I'm still very hurt. <laughs> For, forgive me. I will do anything possible to heal you once. I swear. Yes, Dad. And now... Could you give me a hug? Yes, Dad. And you too, Princess. I love you. I love you. Grandpa, when you feel better, come to the house. It's almost my birthday and I want all the family reunited. Yeah, sure. I'll be there.